Hey everybody, this is Tyler Vanderhoeven with the video edition of Running Meteor in production in 2017. This is the video companion, as I just mentioned, to the article that I wrote um, on my Meteor production environment. Uh, been a long time coming. I've been building Meteor apps for like three, four, five, six years, a long time. Um, and have tried countless um, services and methods and modes to run Meteor in production and landed on this one recently. I've been using it for a bunch of different little side projects and startups and it's been working really great. Um, so I thought I'd walk you through it so that there was a definitive um, article out there and a video showing how to get Meteor running in production in a, both a rolling deployments uh, way and also um, a lot more scalable so it's easier very easy to add um, more servers more ports um, all those good things that are necessary for running robust production applications anyway enough of that uh, I'll be probably referencing my article a bit uh, just to make sure that I've written it correctly um, and as per the instructions the first thing is to set up digital ocean so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new droplet here I'm going to create a Ubuntu um, $20 a month. I'm in Tennessee, but New York's closest, so I'll keep that one. Add my monitoring. Those are my SSH keys. And I'm just going to call it um, Quick Game. And just by way of all this is generating, what we'll be deploying today is just my um, sort of dummy app that I've built and it's open sourced um, that I use when I'm explaining Meteor and describing what it does and giving some of the um, real-time nature of Meteor applications. This is what we're going to be um, pushing to our click game URL. So that's going to generate. We'll get our IP address from that. Go over to our Cloudflare while that's finishing up. So I've installed a bunch of sites. Click Games, one of them. Uh, we'll go to our DNS. Uh, for this particular example, I'm just going to be using the root um, record, a record here, and also the www. And we'll make sure those are both pointing through the Cloudflare um, proxy. So that's pretty much it for that. Eventually we'll go to crypto, but for now we'll leave it at that. And once this is set up, we're going to need to SSH into our droplet and set some things up. I'm going to go ahead and create a shortcut, um, sort of my pro tip of the day. So I store all of my little shortcut commands in a root folder called bin. So I'm just going to open that. All right, so you can see I've got one right here. I'm just going to add a new one <coughs> called click game. It could be called anything. I'm going to call it that. I'll copy one of my other SSH references paste it you remember we we have a bunch of um, SSH keys uh, inside of my root.ssh folder um, it's not detailed in the article but you'll need to make sure that you've installed some SSH keys or at least an SSH key have installed it on your DigitalOcean droplet um, so that you're able to SSH in from yeah, your command line close this real quick we're gonna to need to make that file executable so I'm going to chmod a plus x um, bin click game so that'll make that file executable we'll go ahead and click game see if that droplets done it is so we're good there we're SSH in look at that piece of cake now we need to go in and back to the article, make sure we install everything that we need. Get our Nginx. Yes, please. Going to need Node.js. Yes, now 
Every now and then Node.js won't actually install with the correct um, references, so we're going to go ahead and make sure the reference is correct by installing that legacy reference so that when we type node v we get a version number. We'll put in our npm, yes please. Yep, we already did that. Now we're going to install n to get the most recent version of node. Very good. We're going to install n. n latest. Or no. Stable. Go ahead and select that. Um, I believe what we need to do now is go ahead and exit the shell and then enter it back in. So make sure we have the latest version of node installed and running. Yes, we do. Uh, we need to install the latest version of npm. npm-v. And run this with unsafe perm, I think, maybe perms. Um, and this just lets it run, since we're running at that root, um, it passes that root access through to the install to make sure that this, uh, this mechanic install works, since mechanic makes changes to the actual Nginx settings. Booyah. Okay. Now we're ready to install our uh, certificates, which get installed into this certs. So we'll go ahead and add that first, make their certs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on nano click game now. Names in Mechanic do matter, so obviously you're not going to be installing a click game. So uh, as you reference commands and things, just make sure you're replacing site names. Don't just sort of mindlessly follow this instruction, understand what you're doing so that you know when to replace name. So we'll open up this nano for the cert, which I need to go back to click game and create inside of my crypto. I've installed this site a couple of times, um, but for this example, I'll just go ahead and start fresh with a new cert. Okay, we'll come down here, create certificate. Yep, all that's good. You can adjust the validity if you want. All right, so this is our certificate that we're going to paste inside this nano file that we're making. We'll control X to exit, Y to save. That'll ask us if we're cool with that name, which we are, so we'll press enter. Do the same thing, but instead of cert, we're writing a key. Go back here, grab our key. Paste X, Y, yes. Very good. Now we'll go back to our instructions, make sure we've taken care of all that. Looks like we're good. Let's go ahead, moment of truth, try and add our site. Booyah! Not very glamorous, but it worked. Back to our instructions. Looks like it's time to add our... This will open it up where I can copy it. Copy that. Now we need to, according to the instructions, make the directory. Uh, etc. Oh, etc. Mechanic, and then we'll nano inside of that etc. Mechanic uh, custom conf. Paste that in. Exit. Save. Yes. All good. Then we need to reference that. Cool beans. Mechanic refresh. That'll load up that new site all nice and dandy. Okay, so now it's time to deploy. So if we go over to our Atom, this is our text editor, this is the project here. Um, open up my terminal, go back to click game, create a new tab. So that's the media project running. I'm going to create a new uh, directory called deploy primary. Go ahead and cd into deploy primary and do I already have MUP installed, so you can run the MUP install, npm MUP install G. Um, 
I already have it installed, so I'm just going to do Muppet init inside of that, which will create me my Mupjs file and my settings file, which I don't need any of this garbage. I just need that. I don't. Yep. Uh, I do have the settings. Which I think it's just a key, so I'll just copy that real quick. Put that in there. Mup settings. Those are this right here. Uh, put in our IP address, username is root. This is where my SSH file is, which I think it was type VDHRSA. Um, path name, so that's where the path of your actual file is located. Easy way to find that would be to just say um, PWD, print working directory. That's what it's called. So that's what we'll put in there. That's the Docker image. The name is click game. I'm gonna call it primary. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it on port 3000 because that was the port we used when we created the mechanic file. Uh, the Mongo, we'll get to that in just a second. Click ga.me. Play check wait time. We'll just do 60 for now. All right, so let's go ahead and get our Mongo URL. That right there. Sweet beans, that should take care of that piece. So now if I've got everything correct, moment of truth, mup set up, see if we got everything correct. This will set up our Docker instance on the droplet. Make sure all our settings are correct. Sweet, it's good. So now we can do mup deploy, which will actually send our app to the server, load it up in the file system, create all the images, Docker images. And since we've have mechanic connected to Nginx, pointing to the port that we've loaded, that 3000 port. Assuming we've done everything correctly, we should have an SSL enabled website running at www and root click game or click, .g, click ga .me. See, I don't even know what the heck I'm deploying. All right, moment of truth again. Let's, there it is. Very, very nice. Hope that's extremely helpful to you. Um, I know it was to me. I love this setup. It works fantastic. Um, there's a bunch of other things you can do. Um, you can deploy multiple apps to the same droplet now just using different ports. Um, you can just go to the mechanic site on your SSH um, droplet and add new sites at different ports. Um, you can add the same site uh, to multiple ports to support um, rolling deployments. So you deploy multiple or you have multiple MUP folders, um, deploy one site, then deploy the other to avoid any uh, interruptions in service. I'll probably create a short video on that. Um, you can deploy PHP sites to this um, all off of a single droplet, which is why I recommend you use more powerful droplets, um, especially for side projects and stuff. It's a great way to save money, but still have lots of different um, apps running on that one powerful droplet. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, share, enjoy, use, ask any questions you have. I'll help where I can.